Okay, so I'm about to be on the way to Home Depot. Stuff is about to start moving fast. We went with my dad's friend for a while, and now my mom's friend is about to kind of like, he's a contractor too, and he has a crew. Um, we're just about to knock out a bunch of stuff, like getting rid of the fireplace, refinishing the floors, painting, etc., etc. And like, it's a lot of stuff that I didn't want to do all at the same time, but like he was giving us a better price, and it's even better to kind of bundle the work. I wanted to wait because my bank account, she needed a break, but I figured like I meant to like get out the way. And like the one thing I wanted to wait on was like kind of like the paneling leading up to the roof on the outside. I want I want to get that done, but I want to wait like a little bit so I can like break it down within like a couple of months. But I figure it's good to get out the way because if like lick water and moisture starts getting in, it's gonna affect the walls on the inside, and that's gonna make it harder to do. So I'm just gonna work on that now and just knock all the stuff out the way, which is what I really want to do. I really want to knock the stuff out the way. Like let it have been my way. Maybe once I got them keys, the males was gonna be in there doing men's work, but it's all right. They about to start doing it now, so let's get to it. stopped by Benjamin Moore. I got a whole bunch of paint samples because I'm indecisive and I got anxiety about stuff. So I'm gonna test these out right now at the house. See y'all there. So I'm like testing some out. I'm like so indecisive about what I want, but I feel like I wanted a hint of warmth in it. I want it to be really versatile and go a lot with like warmer woods. So that's what I'm trying to do. I have my elite employee filming for me. Trying to make it easy. I am. I'm going through and streaking it. Yeah. But don't you wiping more of it off? And you I'm it's, streaking it though, so it's balanced, so I can get a good layer on it. Yeah. Gonna look a little different. Shit. That's why I'm not a painter. I came back to JT List. I came by myself this time. I tested, we'll see when we get back, but I tested like all of them and they're all looking kind of like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm back at the house by myself. Ah, peace and quiet. I feel like this whole process of like prepping the house again or like getting the house prepped and getting ready for like moving is becoming like so much more complicated than it needs to be and it's like stressing me out unnecessarily. Which one do you like the most? I'm gonna put all the names and like take a picture so if you like see one that you like, you can get it. Okay, I got a bone to pick with y'all. Why didn't anybody tell me how difficult it can be to pick a paint color? Like here I was worried about the other parts of the reno. Little did I know how paint was gonna come and vex me. Like there are so many nuances that come along with picking a paint color. And the way my personality works, I like to stand on business with my decisions. So I think very deeply about things. So it takes me a long time to make these type of choices. So I knew I was gonna need a process to help me pick out the color. I painted all the samples on two walls that I thought were a good constant of what like looks like in the house so a wall that was like bright and would fluctuate and then a wall that's like relatively the same besides nighttime but before i did that i have picked out some sample colors from a color booklet that i got from a painter just to like start prepping my mind then after that i went on to the website which i went on benjamin moore those are the paints that I look like because they have a feature where you can like see the colors and different lighting now it's not gonna be the same as in your house but i think it gives you a good idea a good starting point of what things will look like and they also show you like good colors Colors or like colors that match the paint and then like other similar colors but what I really like is that you can add things to your list you can add colors to your list and like the way the list is you can kind of see the colors side by side to compare what they look like and make your choice there is so much to paint y'all oh my gosh it's so much to it but after putting the paints down, I came to check them at different times of the day. So I checked them in the morning to see what they look like. I checked them in the afternoon to see what they look like. And I checked them in the evening. Cause y'all, I'm telling you, the colors fluctuate so much. Like one color can look like one color, like another color in another room. And then you check another room. So like, it was a lot. But after I kind of like saw all the paints and what they look like, I narrowed them down to three colors that I put out through all the rooms. So I can see what they look like in all the rooms. The world of paint is such a crazy thing. Like so many factors to just think about. And it's too crazy because paint is so expensive. So it's like, you can't just be willy nilly. You got to decide or else you're gonna be, unless you got money like that, but this is crazy. I'll show you in my parents' room now what these three colors look like and then we'll go do downstairs. Okay, so this is my parents' room with the blinds closed. So we have 
Woodland Swiss Adobe White. Woodland Snow looks kind of similar to Swiss Coffee, but upstairs, Woodland Snow looks similar to Adobe. After painting the colors in the room, I did the same process of checking them throughout different times to see what they look like in different lights. And then I was able to narrow it down to two final colors that I then painted into all the hallways to see what they look like. And it's so funny because I literally had one paint color custom mix and I ended up not even making it to the top three. And Swiss coffee, so winter snow first, Swiss coffee second. Hopefully not fall down these stairs. This is the second stairway, so that's winter snow, Swiss coffee. Look at that, Boop. Go down on my flat of stairs. Last flight. Okay. This is the first flight of stairs. But there's no Swiss coffee. Yeah, you run upstairs. Y'all, I'm filming in my calves, baby, with these stairs. Calves gonna be on point. I've never had good calves, so I guess this is my moment. There's so much happening. <sighs> also, side note, I've been talking about just the walls, but Loki, what's I do with these trims? Cause I'm not gonna do the baseboards, just door trims. I, eventually, I think I wanna change these doors to wooden doors in my old place. They're beautiful wooden doors and I would like the same air in this place, but that's gonna be a whole nother project. Once again, since coffee's eating, blinds down, she really eats. If you peep scene after letting things marinate, I'm actually starting to lean towards my final choice. I told y'all this is the second hallway. Swiss coffee and winter snow look so similar in certain lights and it's so different in others. And here they are, blinds closed. Soft white, so, I mean, Swiss white wins, I'm sorry. She's going through the whole place. The whole casa is gonna be Swiss coffee. I'm, I'm talking about Swiss white, it's called Swiss coffee. Yes. Ba -ba. Can you believe we made our decision? After eight colors, I narrowed it down to this one. And she wasn't even as much on my radar. I literally, somebody suggested it on like Reddit and I decided to try it out. And my top pick didn't even make it to the top three, which is really crazy. Paint is a crazy thing. Do not rush your paint. Test, 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 and test at different locations because paint is expensive. And even if you're not paying for somebody to paint it, it takes a lot of time. So, yeah. So this coffee for the win. <laughs> We are back at it again to get the final color. We have decided. What's about we? I have decided. <laughs> so I just stopped by the house. You folks are set up, getting ready to paint. Here we go. So it's day one of renovations, or like the few little things that's getting done. They're removing the fireplace today, and I believe they're gonna start painting. I think they're also like sealing off the roof because like I have like, like a, one of those rubber-based roofs, so they're putting like a protective seal against that. I don't know what else they're doing today, but we'll see. I'm excited. Things should be done by Friday. Today's Tuesday, so things should be done on Friday. They're getting busy. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like I went in there earlier. And it's already getting busy, and I like that, so we'll see how it goes. That bitch is gonna be gone. He's working on it. to turn this valve off so there's no gas. Nicole, go in an angle more. Good job, Nicole. So you got the fireplace out. So that's a TV on here. OMG, so they just changed the light and the room already looks brighter. Now I'm reevaluating my color choice because it looks so bright in here with these new lights they put in.
I did not really check it with the lights fully on. Y'all, I was so certain about Swiss white, but I'm getting a little nervous. Doesn't this look a little gray over here? I don't know what y'all think, but I mean, nobody's coming up here. Let's look in the other halls, because I'm looking at this. It looks pretty fresh up there. They, I'm doing it all the way down to the baseboard here, all the way to the ceilings. The only thing that's gonna be different are the doors, but what y'all think? Y'all think this look too gray? I don't know. Y'all, I'm having second thoughts about this one. I'm screaming. Folks, is singing his life away. <laughs> okay, so we are at the end of day two. Why does this place look brighter without the fireplace? I'm getting very nervous about my choice of paint color. <laughs> Not gonna lie, cause this looks like a brand new space without the fireplace. Am I tweaking or am I tweaking? That fireplace blocks so much light in here. Ooh, I hope my paint come out okay, I'm nervous. Now I'm like so nervous about the paint. Let's go look at it. The halls upstairs are like first paints I think there's some rooms with both paints and there's some with just one coat. Okay. Okay, I'm not mad at it. Okay, okay, let's see. I'm nervous. I heard, that he told me that there's a room up here that's done. Okay, she's cute, she's fresh, refreshing. Okay. They look at the difference between the new paint and the old paint. Okay, okay. I'm not mad at her. You know, I'm not used to like completely white. Oh my gosh. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm, I'm okay now. I guess this white is really refreshing. I'm like not used to white paint, so I was like really nervous about it. Cause I'm used to having like relatively darker off white. Oh wow. This room feels so much brighter. Oh. I'm not mad at all. I'm happy. Good choice. Good choice. What's coffee for the win? Yeah. I'm gonna show y'all this room, which is pretty much done. Uh, wow. So pro tip, if you don't get as, this actually this room had a bunch of lighting. This, is, this room is a better example. If you don't get as much lighting in a room, lighten up that paint. Lighten up that paint. Uh, yes. Things actually almost fell through with this. It was a long story, <laughs> messy business, but I like looking at things to make sure like it's good and like it's delivered how it was said it would be delivered. So I'm like, my detail eye is looking and I'm just gonna see how things play out. But it's looking nice so far. The paint job is really gonna help. When we do the floors, that's really gonna set it off. Oh, y'all are gonna see how we set it off in this bitch. <laughs> What are these? Are these oak? I've been trying to figure out what floors these are. I think they're oak floors because apparently like, you know, stains look different compared to what the floors are. I'm debating what stain I should use. Oh, I'm thinking about it so bad. I don't really care for as much as this yellowness in the floors. What do you think? Or should I, I don't want the same thing. I do want something with a little bit less yellow. But I don't know, what do y'all think? Now that I'm looking at it, maybe something a little bit similar. That's it for Renault day one, three more to go.